Nicola Ascom here, back for the next in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. So today's question is, do I need a data governance policy? And I think the very simple, straightforward answer is yes, you really, really do, but that's really not good enough. And I think it's only fair to say that when I first started doing data governance and in the first three, four maybe uh, initiatives that I worked on, I didn't have a data governance policy or not until it was too late. So all I'm trying to tell you to do is to learn by my mistakes, make sure you have a data governance policy in place. Now the reason for this is mainly because without it, you're implementing data governance on a best endeavors basis. You're hoping that you can influence some people and enthuse them to start doing data governance. But I can tell you from my experience that sooner or later, you're going to end up talking to somebody that says, do I have to do this? Now, they might not be a deliberately obstructive person. They'll be saying this just because, like most of us, they have so much going on, they don't have time to do everything. And if they don't have to do data governance, then that's an easy one to drop off the bottom of their to-do list. So if you have a data governance policy in place, it sends out a very clear message that senior stakeholders in your company have said that you are going to manage your data properly. So I would encourage you absolutely get a data governance policy in place because if you don't, you might find that what happened to me in the early days will happen to you. And that is that sooner or later somebody said, it was all very nice, Nicola, and it was, it was good while it was working, but that was flavor of the month and we've decided not to do that anymore. You do not want that to happen. This is something that can deliver such fabulous benefits to your organization. You do not want your initiative stopped because you didn't take the time to get a data governance policy in place very early on. So I really would encourage you to do that. And don't forget, if you've got any questions that you'd like me to answer in one of these future videos, please email them to questions at nicolaascom.com.